Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial and in this Power BI tutorial I will show you how you can create the Power BI composition decomposition tree. So this is the 38 tutorial uh, of Power BI and uh, if you want to access the previous tutorial you can look at for this sheet for Power BI specific tutorial and jump directly by using this link and the title is present here. Also, I have another report within the description from where you can search all my videos, which is I have, which I have posted on the uh, YouTube, which is close more than 800 videos and all those you can search and filter based on your condition. So that's a different report than this, but this specific sheet is only for the Power BI. Now let's look at the Power BI decomposition tree, which is nothing but the decision tree sort of a structure which helps us understand uh, a little bit more in depth about the data all right so let's move ahead all right so here is a decision or decomposition tree or a decision tree which i love to call uh, this is the structure which is more visual in nature and very easily you know one can understand this so what is going on over here is we have the sales sales of a company which is divided between three main product categories, technology, furniture, and office supplies. And for each product category, we have the product subcategory. So for example, technology, we have office machine, uh, telephone and communication, copiers and fax, and uh, computer and peripherals. And for each product subcategory, which is mentioned here as well, you have the product, particular products over here. So you will see that the highest sales is coming from the product, which is Polycom View Station ISTN. Close to $255,000 of the sales is coming from here. Now we have two options over here, whether we choose the high value or we choose the low value. So if we choose the low value, it will show us those products from where we are getting the minimum revenue. So from here, product name, if we click, we can choose high value, we can choose low value similarly if you want to show the telephone and communication related pro product we can just click it over here and all the product which is related to the telephones and communication will be shown and you can have the high value and the low value based on the choice you want to see on the main frame or main area over here now apart from technology if you are interested in looking at furniture you will see that furniture if you select all the hierarchy every hierarchy will be changed based on that also you can remove the field from here just if you are interested here but this plus sign indicates that there is one more additional field in which you can look into more like a drill down sort of a feature so if you click on this you will see two options like earlier we were show, uh, we were viewing from from the drop down over here from the field whether we want to see the high value or low value so if i choose the high value it will show the high value item first we can change any time from here all right now let's see how we can create it so what i'll do is i'll just delete this from the visualization i will come over here is the decomposition tree and if i just expand this you will be able to see it easily so let's go into the field section now in the field section, the first field we want is the analyze. That means the metric, like the sales or the profit. So let's take the sales as the example we took earlier. So sales is coming as the base field. That means you want to analyze the sales of a company. After that, once you have sales, you have the option to explain by. Now explain by, we need to choose how where we want to start. So we want to start highest from the hierarchy. So we'll start with the product category. Then we have the option of choosing the next, which is the product subcategory. So the product subcategory will come over here. And then we have the product name. All right. So these are the three categories, but you are free to choose any combination that you want. Like if you are interested in customer segment, or maybe as in practice, what you can do is take customer segment and customer name. And then finally, the product subcategory and product name, just to better understand from which customer and product you are generating most of the revenue. So as I mentioned, as I told you, it's, it can go whatever way you like based on your business requirement. All right. So once we have this, we can choose this plus sign and plus sign will show us that high value or low value. So or 
if you want to jump on to any particular dimension directly <laughs> so let's choose let's go uh, step by step and uh, we have this technology over here and then we choose this plus sign and we go high value or low value and then you see that if i choose product name i jump directly to the product name which i can remove this from here if i want to go to product subcategory i just have to choose the high value because it is showing the next level is the product subcategory so let's click it over here then we have got the office machine and then if i again click on the plus sign choose the high value you will see the this the tree structure or the tree map sort of a structure where uh, it is present so this is very quickly i wanted to show you you have couple of formatting features like the tree what should be the tree density or what should be the primary color what should be the deselected connectors and connector shape we have not covered that slightly advanced in nature but uh, the most basic functionality is something what we have covered and if you see in the analysis section it enables the ai split like the one that you are seeing it over here and if you disable that you know it will it will not show that sort of uh, uh, which was which was intuitive enough to to view the visualization right so with that you can uh, enable disable based on the needs what is the analysis type you want to do absolute or relative i would suggest if you are just starting then keep the the default parameter absolute because relative is relative to the value that you are selecting which is slightly advanced once you have clearly understood it so that's very quickly about uh, how you can create the this decomposition tree or the decision tree or the tree map chart any of the one which you can say because these are couple of names which is given in the industry to this type of a chart which is helpful understand the proportion of each value is contributing to the main category so that's about it now I'll meet you in the next video